So welcome to St Mary's Shalford. It's wonderful to join with you today wherever you are in the world and however you're feeling as we all become before God in the honesty of all our joys and fears. In a moment Thomas will welcome us all to St Mary's and to our special service today which is devoted to prayer. At a time when such critical matters of life and inequalities are crying out to be heard, to be understood and transformed and when livelihoods and businesses are in flux and when individuals and communities are hurting here at home and in the global family we're all so much a part of and when within it all we have cause to give thanks for healing, kindness, solidarity, love. This is such an important time for us to come together in prayer. To come together as the church in prayer in the sanctuary of this beautiful sacred space and out in the heart of our, all our communities and alongside the excluded and the struggling. And how better to frame our service of prayer today than around the Teze community in France where in fact I would be right now if it wasn't for uh, this global lockdown which surrounds us. The ecu ecumenical community of Teze is made up of more than a hundred brothers from many nations and young people come from all over the world to um, join in, in their thousands really, uh, to join in at Teze and join in the community life of prayer and meditation. And you can see just a little video um, that's tagged on the end of our worship today um, on YouTube, but you can also look that up yourself. There's lots of good videos to give you a little flavour of what Teze is like. We'll hear words in a moment from Brother Roger, the founder of the Teze community. For him, what was important above all was to live out and communicate the gospel together. And it's thanks to many in our local and global family who have come together this morning to lead us in prayer. Following Teze's pattern of praying through scripture, silence and song, the famous chants or songs of Teze, with their simple gospel words repeated again and again, punctuate our prayers this morning. I hope you can pick up the repetitive meditative, meditative chants uh, easily to aid your own prayers, along with um, short moments of silence this morning. Space to simply listen to God speaking to us in prayer. It's a great joy to be able to finally open this beautiful church building of St Mary's again from tomorrow, uh, from Monday the 22nd if you're reading this, uh, sharing this on a very different day. Uh, for all to come in for private prayer and reflection. Opening again after 12 weeks of lockdown. We pray for all who visit this sacred space to find peace, rest and hope here. St Mary's will be open every day be, uh, from tomorrow um, between roughly uh, 10am and 4pm 10 4 with all our measures in place to keep everybody as safe as we possibly can. And you can see again a little video, hopefully, of St Mary's and what to expect on your visit. And you can find that on our website, I hope, soon. And we've saved this year's very special Paschal candle, or Easter candle, uh, for this great occasion of opening the church door again for all. If we'd been all together, we would have, op uh, we would have lit this great candle on Easter Day dawn as we celebrated the light of the risen Christ present from the beginning um, to the end. And right now, if I get my hand out of the way, right now, here in 2020, here today, right now in the midst of our lives, Christ's eternal light and new life which we carry with us, the eternal light which dispels darkness and overcomes death. The great rainbow, the great rainbow candle of God's promise, God's spirit, the light of Christ with us through this pandemic and through all things. So enough from me. After the Teze bell calls us again, it's Thomas who welcomes us to St Mary's and begins our worship and time of prayer together as he lights this great Easter candle for the first time. And so Christ's light 
welcomes all to enter in. Cool. What more? That's so cool. Fire. 